what's going on guys welcome back to another video guys in this video we're gonna talk about molen automotive once again guys that's molen automotive with a ticker symbol m u l n guys in this video we're gonna talk about that the uh, recent article that just came out from molen automotive guys so this is not a press release but you can clearly see guys that uh, this is uh, article is actually going on right now if you go to twitter and you go to yahoo finance you can see this article Molin Automotive signs binding agreement with Delpac Logistics LLC, an Amazon delivery services partner for class 1 and 2 EV cargo vans. Guys, if you like information and analysis I'll be providing in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get going. I would if, say, if, that, if, I, no? I, say that. I, I, I would say that uh, in the conversations, again, I've been working feverishly on this and, uh, and you know, along with a major transaction that is happening all at the same time i mean there's so much stuff going on as i when i when i told you i'm working 20 hour days i'm working 20 hour days so um, a lot of good stuff happening uh more so than than ever in the history of this company and, and i think you're looking at a, a uh <laughs> what's the term you know uh i like sports and i always like to use uh, comparisons to sports and i uh, one of the things that stuck with me was the Washington Nationals, a, a baseball team that went into the playoffs. Really, nobody knew who they were. I mean, they knew who they were, but you know, no one had any expectations of anything. And these guys right. systematically went to the World Series and won the World Series and had everybody's head spinning, wondering how the hell did they do this? Well, I like to think we're that guy. You know, got to remember where we started. We came out, you know, um, um, small market cap. You know, people really didn't say much about us, kind of ignored us, and we systematically have progressed forward and in a short window, we're now larger than some of the guys that had market caps in the two and three billion, you know, two and three billion dollar market cap range. And now these guys are down in the three and four hundred million dollar range. And look at us. Right. You know, we're you know, again, I'm not trying to put anybody down. I'm just telling you, it's not where you start. It's where you finish. And we plan on being at that finish line. We'll see who else can join us there. All right, David uh, Mishri, the CEO of Mullen Automotive. So, guys, this tweet has been going on right uh, this since this morning, guys, and the stock is flying around thirty percent this morning in the pre-market hours. But currently, the stock is uh, up seven, around seven percent, because uh, today something's going on in the market, and the market is entirely red once again. Okay, so. As you can see, guys, uh, you know, a lot of uh, Molen, you know, Molen fans has been tweeting this about the uh, order for the 600 vans. Okay, so this is another slap in the face for all those who are bearish with Molen Automotive. And of course, guys, okay, let's going back, going back to the article. So everybody's talking about this. Molen Automotive signs binding agreement with Delpac Logistics LLC and Amazon delivery services partner for class 1 and 2 EV cargo vans. So this was actually released this morning, this uh, news from Yahoo Finance. So it says here guys that Molen, an emerging electric vehicle manufacturer, announces today that it has signed a binding agreement. Okay, so a binding agreement with Delpac Logistics LLC and Amazon delivery services partner for DPL to purchase up to 600 Molen Class 2 EV cargo vans over the next 18 months. Okay, so DPL will place a, pur a purchase order for up to 600 Molen Class 2 cargo vans over the next 18 months. The, 600, the 600 Class 2 EV cargo vans will be fully homologated for the United States. The first 300 homologated for the U.S. Molen Class 2 EV cargo vans can be delivered to DPL by November 30 at the request of the DPL. Okay. All Molen Class 2 EV cargo vans will be equipped with all airbags as required by the U.S. standards and a cabin comfort package including adjustable seats, cup holders, and infotainment system and a comfortable passenger seat. In addition, the Molen Class 2 electric cargo vans will carry a minimum of 80 kilowatt per hour battery pack. Now, according to David Mishery, this is a milestone for Molen Automotive and chairman of Molen Automotive, Delpac is a leader in the last mile package delivery and this agreement puts our class 1 cargo van program front and center for last mile delivery opportunities. Now guys, in this article guys, we have to uh, take a look at two things. First is uh, who is uh, the Delpac Logistics and second is what is uh let me see here guys so what is uh, a binding agreement so those are the two things that we have to take a look at this of course guys as you can see the stock will fly because uh it has the word amazon there so an amazon delivery service partner 
So guys, as you can see uh, in the uh, Mullen website, if you scroll down here, the Class 2 commercial EV fleet van has a battery size of 78.8 kilowatt hours. So the requirement is a little bit more than that. And it's a range of uh, 200 miles plus. Okay, now regarding the binding agreement, guys. So if you Google that, guys, it says here, a binding contract is any agreement that's legally enforceable. That means if you sign a binding contract and don't fulfill your end of the bargain, the other party can take you to court, guys. So definitely, guys, Mullen has to fulfill the uh the uh, purchase order requirement and of course there's a lot once again guys there's a, a lot of people that is really bearish with mullen saying that the uh, manufacturing facility is not true okay and they're just uh, importing all of these uh bands from uh, china right so of course that's 300 bands it's a beginning right so um hopefully guys hopefully okay uh this uh this uh, specific news is just one of those catalysts but okay um, people are asking if this is the fortune 500 company guys so if you go to the fortune 500 companies and of course look for Dell pack right you can really find them all right so this is not the uh, fortune 500 company absolutely okay so you can't find them uh, but if you of course uh, say for example um, I last in my, la in my previous video I tried to look for uh, lumen right lumen technologies okay give me a sec here lumen Okay, so Lumen Technologies is here, but Delpac is just, you know, another a slight uh, press release from Mullen Automotive. So, meaning guys, Mullen Automotive is definitely definitely doing a good job in getting these deals and they are getting, uh, I mean, this is just one of those, you know, uh, one of those step in the right direction. So, deal after deal, we'll be getting more and more catalysts uh, regarding Mullen Automotive in the future, guys. So, as you can see, if you scroll down, everybody is actually uh, everybody is actually talking about Mullen Automotive once again. Because the, if uh, you actually go to your, if you browse the whole uh, market right now, it's red once again in general, right? So, but of course, Mullen is in the green, which is really, really amazing. Now, guys, as you can see, in general, the market is red. By the time of this recording, the Dow Jones is actually down 0.33%. But, okay, if you scroll down for Mullen Automotive, guys, you can clearly see that in a five-day performance, the stock is up 17.28%. In a one-month performance, the stock is up 20.63%. Now, guys, as you can see, if uh, you actually go back to the charts, I have uh, made this uh, wedge days ago when I made a video, right? So, finally, guys, so if we close at around 1.25 today, then it is confirmed. So, at least 1.25, right? 1.20, 1.25, uh, yeah. So, it's just confirming that we have broken out of that wedge and we are actually primed for an upside, okay? So, you can clearly see guys that our uh, rsi today is 52.18 and our volume guys is okay flying right now it's just around two hours after the trading uh, after trading day and the volume for the stock is 89.76 million our average volume for the past three months is only 67.35 million meaning guys a lot of people are excited a lot of people are loading up on mullen automotive and like i said this is just one of those uh you know uh beginning right so and of course this is not a fortune 500 news and like i said a while ago hopefully hopefully right so we'll be seeing another green day tomorrow because like i said a while ago what drives the stock is of course first of all the sentiment and of course we are getting a positive sentiment regarding the stock and second is a confirmation of the breakout and the breakout is currently happening right now as you can see this is a red candle guys but of course uh, like i said we opened up you know at a higher price now we're because we opened up around uh 30 percent 20 percent this morning now we are just 6.91 percent during the trading hour meaning guys the uh candle will actually be red but of course my uh my uh, scenario right tomorrow is another green day because if um you know uh if mullen will actually give another slight press release so According to David Mishri, they've been very, very busy in the past few weeks, few days, right? So the Fortune 500 news is not yet here. We just, we're just getting a small catalyst and we have this kind of price action. How much more if we get the Fortune 500 news and how much more if we get the OEM, um, the OEM uh, signed, right? With another, 
the with another battery deal so those are the two things that i am looking forward to but mainly i'm looking at the battery deal so hopefully hopefully guys okay like i said okay this is one of those news that will actually send the stock flying back to three dollars four dollars five dollars up to twenty three dollars so guys once again if you like the information and analysis i have provided in this video please hit the like and subscribe button this is your boy don leo trades i love you all peace out